Hey, good morning. Let's see, let me fix this video real quick. How's it going? So I am in my office. I'm just shooting at a different angle. I'm actually showing off my sister Ayana's lovely side. This is how she decorated her office. And I frankly love it so much. She's way cooler than I am. She chose this blanket for our massage table as well. And no lie, I think I want to steal it for myself because it's so badass. Good night. <laughs> so today I want to talk about your skin health. And obviously it helps with applying makeup, etc. But also it's good for your health. You know, it's not just for vanity reasons, but there's some good merit to it as to why you want to maintain your skin and to properly take care of it. Um, if you followed my account for some time, hi Molly, you will know that uh, last year I was certified as a makeup artist. I thought that's something that I wanted to pursue and add to my beauty business because I've been wearing makeup since my teens. Love it so much. It's a wonderful uh, way of expressing yourself and looking and feeling beautiful. But in this season of my life, I realized I like uh, to keep it simple, especially because I'm always running around with my kids, riding my motorcycle. And I thought I wouldn't be the best ambassador for makeup if I'm not even really into it myself now. But I am really big on skincare, taking care of your health. And um, I just wear a thin layer of foundation and let my skin show through. And um, you will know that from following my account, I'm so big on the dermal roller and the washing massage tool. Now, why would you want to use the dermal roller? It seems so simple, but it's really effective. You want to, after you apply your skincare, go ahead and just roll it on your face because that's going to help you help your skin absorb the product so much better. And it's gentle enough to wake up your lymphatic system, all the vessels in your face, as well as the lymph nodes. So then when you use the gua sha massage tool, you can move the fluids a lot more effectively and the, the nodes are open and ready to take all that fluid out of your face. If you don't do that and you go at your face a bit roughly, sometimes you'll feel a bit of pain in your lymph nodes because then you just kind of like pushed everything through when it's not ready. And um, I'm so big on skincare because as you know, your skin is the largest organ of your body. It has multiple functions for it, which include uh, the controlling of the temperature of your body. And this big thing is, is keeping bacteria, germs, microbes out of your body and to help your immune system to stay healthy. If you don't take care of your skin, it's dry and all that, then you compromise your, your health in that way. And so always stay hydrated. I recommend putting sunblock on every day and reapply throughout the day. Choose um, an SPF of over 15 and that's gonna help tremendously because our sun is uh, the biggest element that affects our skin. Among other things, right? We're surrounded by so many different chemicals. We absorb that just from touch every day and from what we ingest. So just be aware of that. And choose skincare that will help, um, you know, restore, retain, and renew your skin. These two are my favorite. You don't have to purchase these, but these are my recommendations, the Alpha E Factor and the R3 Factor. It has so many antioxidants and it's really specific to keeping the free radicals out and repairing any damage to your skin. If you think about it, when a baby's born, the baby, is, their skin is so supple and they're so cute and they're wrinkle free. And that's because their skin hasn't been so exposed to damage quite yet, right? As we age, as we get older, as we're out more, then you see the damage appear. And then I know that wrinkles are inevitable. I'm not saying they're bad because it's a blessing to age every single day. But if we can slow down the breakdown of our skin, why not? right and keeping great care of your skin will do that this gua sha massage will going back to this it also helps with releasing the tension in your face a lot of people are worried about their 11s i am because i'm very expressive like my dad like i just have really strong muscles here this helps release the tension in your face because that's what basically it is your muscles just like your muscles in your body if you work it out you form the shape when you're always furrowing your face, you're creating that shape. And eventually your body, muscle memory, and the skin has memory too, will stay in that shape. And if you have a lot of stress, you're just retaining that stress in your face. So use the gua sha massage to, to release that tension in your face and be more mindful of your expressions so then you can lay your muscles flat. And it is possible, I know it just seems kind of crazy to 
retrain your muscles and your skin without Botox, but it is possible. It just has to, it's all about being mindful of your expressions, taking care of good, uh, good care of your skin, and doing this on a daily basis. Like bodybuilding and taking care of your body, um, results will come with consistency, and if you do it every day, that's the same with the face. It's just with, uh, when it comes to uh, Botox versus doing things like this, you're using toxins to paralyze the muscle and then you don't have to really think about it. It's already done for you. But I'm not, no knock on Botox. It's, it's your choice if you want to go that route or if you want to go this route as well. And that's really the big thing. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I know I kind of went really quickly too considering this is such a big topic. But uh, yeah, don't feel ashamed to take good care of your skin. It's not vain. It's called self-care and there are health benefits to it. Keep your skin barrier great, so then it keeps bacteria, free radicals, all that out. And damage is inevitable, but you can have products that, that can help reverse some of that, okay? Thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.